No doubt the world is really mourning with that community right now. Federal officials are investigating the shooting death of a black West Virginia teenager as a possible hate crime this morning. 62-year-old William Pulliam has been charged with murder. A Charleston police complaint says he confessed to the killing. Don Daler is here with how a confrontation outside a store turned deadly. Don, good morning. Good morning. The complaint signed by Charleston police reportedly says Pulliam wasn't just unremorseful. He also referred to the victim as trash. And now the teen's family says they're putting their faith in the law to see justice done. The police complaint reportedly states 15-year-old James Means was part of a group that engaged in a verbal confrontation with 62-year-old William Pulliam outside a Charleston convenience store. It escalated into violence, with Pulliam allegedly opening fire. The teen was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead with two gunshot wounds. Pulliam gave a jailhouse interview after his arrest, repeating what he says he heard from the group. What the you say? I said, man, I didn't say anything. I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm 62 years old. I'm not going to take a bunch of punks beating me up. The police complaint reportedly says Pulliam confessed, stating, the way I look at it, that's another piece of trash off the street. Authorities are now looking into whether the shooting falls under the federal hate crime statute, killing someone because of their race. I just shot him. I mean, I, I felt my life was in danger. I don't care if they're white or black. Nobody's going to do me like that. It doesn't make any difference he's black. Means family says this is not a time for revenge, but for justice. We don't hold a grudge, so nobody else should hold a grudge. We all have to forgive and let everything take its place. The Charleston Gazette Mail reports that Pulliam was not allowed to have a gun because of a previous domestic violence conviction. A Thanksgiving peace walk for the teenager is set to take place in Charleston later this morning. Glad. Don, thanks.